Hi there. Uh, here's a tutorial designed to help you find uh, your depreciation expense if you don't have one listed on your income statement. So here I've got my income statement for Hershey's. And if I take a closer look at it, I'll see that I've got sales revenue, direct costs, gross profit, selling general and administrative, um, but I don't have any depreciation expense. And I need that because depreciation is going to help reduce um, our earnings before tax, thus reducing our taxation expense. So this is important and we need to find it. Where we can find it is on the statement of cash flows. So if you scroll down to your statement of cash flows, you will see at the bottom, or it might be up to the top, closer to the top, depending on your company, you will see a depreciation and amortization row. This is basically just telling us um, how much depreciation the firm claimed as an expense last year, and we need to bring it up and put it in our balance sheet. I'm sorry, in our income statement. So what you do is you come up here, and in most of these mergent, for most of these companies in mergent, where they have a depreciation and amortization expense hiding is in direct costs. And so normally we wouldn't consider depreciation at all a cost of goods sold, but that's how mergent has it lumped. So you just come down, take your depreciation and amortization row, copy it, and come up here and paste it. So the problem here now is that we've added another row of expense and gross profit is supposed to equal sales revenue less cost of goods sold, right? In this case, however, because we've added another category, gross profit would then equal cost of goods sold less depreciation and amortization because right now this depreciation and amortization amount is lumped up in here. So we need to remove the depreciation and amortization expense out of direct costs because it's hiding in there. So the way to do it is to go up into this COGS expense for the given year and subtract the depreciation and amortization expense. So it's going to require you to enter an equal sign and then subtract depreciation and amortization. And you're just going to do that for each of the years. That way, you are not double counting depreciation and amortization, which would be a bad thing. We don't want to double count any of our expenses or revenues for that matter. So that is all you need to do uh, to bring in your depreciation and amortization expense. You just need to make sure that you have it. Awesome. Okay, that's that. Talk to you later.